Hi, this is Andy Nathan here with AndyNathan.net, your social networking schmoozer, and with me I have Thunes Suffertine. Say hello, Thunes. Hi there, everyone. It's uh, great to talk to you, and it's great to talk to Andy, and you're going to enjoy what he's going to tell you. Okay, thank you. And what I want to talk about today on the blog and why I had... Uh, why I have someone here all the way from South Africa, the man who brings it all together, Thunes Seferteen. Here we go. I'm showing you guys his blog, thunesefferteen.com, is because we're talking on Skype. And this is an amazing tool. I'm on my computer. He's on his computer. I'm in, he, I'm in the United States. He's in South Africa. And yet here we are communicating thousands of miles away from each other. And what we have here is we have this unbelievable communication tool called Skype. Now I'm sure a lot of people have heard about it, but I want to emphasize how awesome this thing is. Skype basically gives you the power to talk on your computer to anyone in the world who has a Skype account. Now you say, hey, well, that's great. I can have a Skype account. Well, how much does it cost? Well, that's the even better part. It's free. So what happens is, <clears throat> I'm getting choked up over this, Thunes. So you'll have to apologize if I if I start choking up so much that I start crying. <laughs> you're gonna have to take over. Uh, that's good. <laughs> okay, it, you're gonna. What's what you can do here is you can just join Skype for free, and all you do is you go to Skype.com and then you go join us, and you're gonna see it here. I'm popping it up. Dun da da da. And all you have to do is oh, this is. Join, oh, I'm sorry. I think I did sign into Skype. Well, all you really gonna need to do is just basically put your name, your put your name, your username, your password, your email, and then you're set. It's not really that challenging to get it, and it does so many amazing features. So let's let's show you right now. So first of all, as you can see, I'm on a call. With, we're on a call right now. So now, if you go into your main menu on Skype, because this is a, something that you download. You could see here that uh, Thunes and I have been talking for about three and a half minutes here, <clears throat> and and you could see he's he's listed first. I get to see what his status update is when I'm talking to him. I can see other people's as well. And uh, you know what? I'm going into most recent. We've been ta He's the most recent person that I'm talking to right now. So you can get an idea. This is my contact history, and I know. He's not able to see that because I haven't done something that I want to show you guys all in a second. The other thing is that with this uh, here, you could actually show everybody's information. So anyone that I want to contact that I'm connected with, I could actually talk to. So with that being said, and I'm going to take a look. <laughs> the other thing that you could do here is you could also use this as an instant messenger. And that's what uh, Thunes just did. Hi, Andy. It's great to talk to you all over the world. And he has a picture of some smiley faces. And I'm going to put in here, great, oh, have to learn how to spell, to talk to you as well. And now, I want to show you the other cool things that go along with this. Because we're so far, we want to be able to share information. Because if I start telling Thunes stuff, like, hey, you should check this out, you should take a look. Like, if I say, hey, check out my blog, I could type it in and I could then send them the link. But what happens if I have to send them a file? Well, you could also go send file. And when I go send file, it goes in here and I could actually see, I, it goes into my, my, my files on my computer and I could actually upload it to Skype and then he could download it on his site as well. Now, here's another feature. If I want to add people to this call, if I want to have five people on this call, ten people on this call, I think you're allowed up to like 20 people. Am I correct there? Does that sound right? Uh, 15 people, 15. Andy. I'm 15. sorry. 15. 15 people. As, as I've got it right, I think it's more on, on the dot 15. Yeah, 15 sounds right. I'm sorry. I was thinking of if, something if, else. If it's going more than 15, they, they become problems with the communication. It's going slow and it's not so okay. good. Okay, so ignore what I just said and go with what uh, he did. This is why we have, have Fumes on the call because he wants to make sure that I'm on the mark. 
So. <laughs> and then the other thing that I could do, I could add people here. So if I wanted to add people, like I just see here in the bottom, Harvey Stellman is now online. If I wanted to add him to our call, I'm not going to do that right now because he's not related to this call. I could actually do that. The final thing that I'm going to show you is if I want to show uh, Thune something in my website or on my computer, I could go select window. And this is. And I'm selecting my website or my, my internet. And I'm going to go. I'm going to click here. Show selected. It says at the top. And then you could actually see there's a little pop down here of the different area that he sees. Now, he's going to actually see what I'm looking at. So I'm on Skype right now, and this sometimes will cause a little bit of an internet connection problem. So just beware. Skype does have its uh, warts and all, just like everything else. And he could see, hey, look, I want to go to your site. So we take, we could walk through a site. We could do whatever you want. He's looking at mine in, in reverse. If I want to see his site, and he wants to share something on his site, or his computer, he could share it with me. That being said, I want to see, Thunes, do you have anything else that you want to add? Um, and you can create a group. If you if you make an appointment with uh, all the guys, let's say for business, and that is what we did um, uh, in our business. We, we had a group every Monday for example, and there's one person that could calling the group. So you, you just call the group and at once all the people's um, Skypes is start ringing and everyone just uh, jump on the call and you can see everyone that is on the call and that is also a lot of helpful so that you don't need to add one person at the time as you're doing the call. So you create a group on, on, on Skype and you call everyone once of your... Dude, that's a very good point. You could actually create groups. And I've seen people use groups very creatively from just file sharing to like what you're doing, having weekly meetings with small groups of people. And it is an amazing thing. So yeah. good point. Yeah. Thank you very much for adding that. You could do the groups. And I'm taking a look. I think you do groups out of... And you know, I haven't done that many groups. So I have to remember. Oh, here you go. Create group. So it's right here in the bottom, right next to yeah. add a contact, create a group. So if I wanted to add Thunes to this, so I go add people, and I get to choose what contacts are in any group. Oh, don't want to do that. So like here, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find him, and there we go, Thunes, select, and then he gets added to the group. If I want to remove him, it's really easy, I just click remove. Not brain surgery here. And just kind of interesting and kind of easy to do. So with that being said, uh, that is pretty much it. And I look forward to seeing what questions you guys have about Skype. Let me know at andynathan.net. And if you have any questions for Thunes, like go to thunesefferteen.com. So looking forward to talking to you, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thunes, do you have anything else to add? Bye, everyone.